And we're back. <laughs> we got interrupted with a phone call, and um, now we're back. We're, where was I? Yeah, we were talking about um, dog watching, dog boarding. So, as you know, people go on vacation and business trips and travel. They travel, period. And or they might have a party or function at their house and they can't have their dog around during the function. So they will need somebody to watch the dog for them. And then they want somebody reliable. Sometimes their family members are available, but not necessarily reliable. You need a safe environment for your dog. You don't want your dog eating trash. You don't want your dog being stuck outside the yard all day in the hot sun. You know, um, so they'll find a reliable sitter to board their dog. And sometimes I wash, I wash these dogs for not these two <clears throat> particularly, but other dogs I've watched for like a month. Because the owner is in the military and they'll, they'll go overseas. Or yeah, they'll go, they'll have a assignment which requires them to be away for a long time. And then I'll wind up watching the dog for the whole entire month. Also, I enjoy doing this because, you know, I like dogs. They're cool, you know. <clears throat> My kids like dogs. We like dogs. It gives us something to do. It gives me something to do. And I have the space available for it. I have a house and a yard. I'm fascinated by it. There's different breeds, different personalities. You get to know a whole lot of different dogs. There's dogs that I've watched, and while I'm walking in the neighborhood, they'll be staring at me <laughs> like I remember you, <laughs> you know. And then I look closely. I'm like, oh, that's I, I remember watching that dog. Um, this, and um, you create, you could. I, I've created strong bonds with these dogs like some of the owners when it's time for them to drop off their dog they as soon as they turn around make a turn in the car to my house the dog starts going ballistic getting happy <laughs> and that's because they know they're coming to to my house and they have fun it's really because of the other dogs they get to hang out with like they get to they had a play buddy they play they could play all day these dogs they could play all day now i am highly selective which dogs that i watch i would not just watch any dog um yeah i have i screen them i make sure they are compatible to my um the house they're not gonna be fighting they're not gonna be uh, attacking other dogs other people but, uh, yeah um a lot, i find a lot of my clients through rover rover that is an app i don't do dog walking i mean i i walk the dogs that are bored but I would not do straight dog walking. It's just, to me, it's just too much and you don't get paid that much. Uh, and yeah, it's better to board them all at once because you walk them twice a day, you walk them together um, or you let them out in the backyard to 
do their business and then let them come back in. I don't let them stay too much in the backyard, especially the small little dogs. Especially at nighttime, there's coyotes around that could potentially get them. Yeah, because I've watched a teacup Yorkie that's so small, I think a bird could scoop them up. <laughs> so I wouldn't let him out too long. Just let him out to use the bathroom. I walk him personally. I don't let him out in the backyard. The bigger dogs, like these dogs, I sometimes let out in the backyard to, just so they could do their business and then come back in. So we made it to the park. So I prefer not to watch dogs that got aggression. Too much aggression is, uh, is a no-no. It's like a deal breaker. Then you'll have to break up fights, take them to the vet, emergency vet for stitches and all that craziness. You don't want any aggressive dog. Uh-oh, somebody caught Baloo's attention. What's that, Baloo? Those are ducks. See the ducks? Leo, you see the ducks? So I've been doing this for eight years. Even when I had my nine to five, I would watch dogs, I would board them, mainly during the weekends, holidays. And this is something that the whole family could actually uh, do. I had have two teenagers, they'll chip in and help. Now I have a toddler. She she uh, she loves the dogs, <laughs> especially the lap dogs. Uh, Sometimes when the dogs go away, uh, when they get picked, the dogs get picked up. Uh, my little toddler, she'll start crying. <laughs> she'll miss the dog. She'll miss some, well, not all of them. Really. She don't like all dogs. <laughs> she likes some in particular. Like I said, they all got their different personalities. These two are pretty mellow. They're not trying to jump into the pond. Like, some of the dogs, I, I bring them out here, they will be dragging me into the pond. So we're just gonna go around the pond just one time and then head on home. Good morning, how's it going?
Yeah, and some of the some of the dogs that I watch, it's like I, I watched them from the time they were puppies, and like three or four years going by, and I now they're like adult-sized dogs. It's like you know I watch them grow throughout the year. They'll keep coming back. And it's like, once they know you, it's, and you know, they, they'll forever remember you. And it's like, they become attached. <laughs> they be like, it's like, every time they, <clears throat> they come to my house, it's like, we, it's like we reunited again and they get all hype. Like, I'm, I'm telling you, they're jumping all over the place. They're like, come on, let's go play fetch. Let's go, <laughs> let's go do this. Let's go, let's go. And they know the routine, like, dogs are all about learning routines. Like, they know, they know what you're about to do even before you made up your mind to go do it. Like, okay, he just got up, and then now he's gonna feed us, and then he's gonna take us for a walk. They already have that all in mind. Like they know your, they study you and they know your routine. So you could train them, like to make your job easy, you train them, you train, like the minute they, they get dropped off my house, I walk them, that's the first thing I do, I walk them. And then they come in, I give them water, give them a treat, you know, and then like you got to establish uh, the rules, like who's in, charge you know I, when i walk them i give them commands sit you know like see how much control you have over them especially if it's a brand new dog you, you gotta walk them for at least 30 minutes before bringing them into the house and introducing them to the other dogs because if you just open the door and let them walk right in they, they could just be out of hand they could just go out of, be out of hand for her. And then it's harder to wheel them back in. So from the minute to get them, you start training them and letting them, setting the guideline. Like, okay, this is what we're gonna do. When I say sit, you gotta sit. We don't go inside the house until I get them to obey some of the commands. Especially if it's a dog that could be very, dangerous like you know not i won't take a dangerous dog a vicious dog but you might have a a, a pit bull that's i'll watch some pit bulls and some wild wilds and even a child i'll watch them i'll be those german shepherds but with especially with these breeds i have to let them know who's in charge from the get from the minute they we meet, you know, we establish friendship, we establish who's in charge, and then we go, we, I, I gotta do everything like in order and set precedence. This is what we do, you know, we, what we do every morning this is what we do every evening it's nighttime and then a lot of them like the majority of them get it and then they follow along with us the, like they become very obedient and follow along with with what you got going on and some of them <laughs> they're so scared they got anxiety separation anxiety and and or they they just <laughs> they just run punctures. That's their personality. They just to be run punctures. Uh, even them, they could follow to a degree. They could follow uh, the routine. But I have like a uh, English bulldog that I watch <laughs> named Rocky. <laughs> he's like a speeding bullet, man. It's like he's always 
charging at somebody <laughs> and barking at other dogs. Uh, he's definitely, he thinks he's alpha all the time. He'll go up to dogs twice his size and want to start something. But he would not like aggressively attack them. He just wants to assert his dominance. Yeah, I, I just, I'm just starting this channel, so um, I haven't had much content, but these two uh, dogs so far, I'm watching this this week. Today, I have another dog coming. Uh, the other dog is a miniature schnauzer, tiny little miniature schnauzer. And she's very shy and bashful. Drop the leash. She's very shy, very bashful. Um, but she plays with other dogs her size. <laughs> she doesn't. She don't like big dogs. She's like very wary of them. You're like, oh, I'd rather not play with you guys. <laughs> you guys are too big. <laughs> you know? So she'll go hide under the table or behind the couch, or she'll jump on my lap. You know, she feel like I will save. I will save her life. <laughs> she's, like, she's very. She's uh, like I. We usually put her on the other side of the house with my wife and daughter, my my toddler. So she hangs out and watch TV with them. All the little lap dogs go on the other side of the house and play with with uh, my wife and daughter. And I walk them separately because the whole time she will just be uh, trying to run away from these dogs. But yeah, as I get more dogs and I'll, I'll put more content up and show you different aspects of dog watching. And if you're thinking of, of getting into dog boarding, yeah. Let me know. Ask me any questions you would like. And then I'll try to get back to you and answer you. So some dogs I, I crate. I put them in the crate because that's how they sleep at home. You know? Uh, or if I'm gonna step out and some dogs are troublemakers they will get into everything they will tear up your couch and whatever they put their mouth on if left alone you know so if I if I have to run an errand I will put them in a the crate. If you know, if they're crate trained. If they're not crate trained, then they'll have to come with me. There's another little park that we like to go to. We just left a bigger park, which had a pond and some ducks. 
Uh, it used to have a turtle. Um, it used to have some turtles, but I haven't seen that. And they used to have some fish in there. I don't know if they still have. But this is the smaller part. I don't let any of my dogs go off leash. Except if we, sometimes I go to the dog beach with them. And then the ones that I really trust. <laughs> what are you afraid of? There's nothing there. <laughs> Uh, some dogs I will let off leash. This area is too small. I will not let any dog go off leash because sometimes they just don't come back. Uh, uh, they will come back, but they'll go have fun first. They'll run around, <laughs> chase whatever, and or like to be chased. So I rather not. That's just a risk that I rather not take. You know. I could, if they were my dogs, then I'll take them off. But it's somebody else's dog, you know. It would be hard to explain what happened to their dog. You know, they'll say, why did you let them off leash? Yeah. But if it's like the, the dog beach, I'll let them. Uh, some dogs, I would let them run out, run around. I have videos of those. I'll, I'll probably upload a video of um, when I take the dogs to the dog beach. All right, so I'm about to end it here. <laughs> I'm gonna head back to the rest to the house. All right, later guys. Uh, yeah, please like, 